use data amongst our team to achieve success by communicating what's happening uh, at all times at the racetrack. We actually work with three different divisions of Hitachi just to go racing. And when you look at their, their solutions division, their, their data division, and, and their, obviously their automotive division, it's really what you do with that data. You have to be able to store it. You have to be able to, to look at it very quickly and make decisions very quickly. Uh, not every team member or individual can be directly related to what's happening with a particular car at a particular time. So it's important to get that message out amongst our teammates, um, amongst the people back at the shop of what's happening. You know, when you look back through the ages of time, the industrial revolution and different things, and now we're in the technology uh, age, and you can see it in racing because whoever can bring that data in, process it, get results from that, and get it back onto the track, they're the ones that are winning. You can have a competitive advantage by having a faster, better car, or just figuring out something quicker than the guy that you're racing against. Just being able to process simulation data, track data, wind tunnel data, data coming from Hitachi wire anemometers in our wind tunnel. Again, the fast, rapid, uh, moving that information through a loop as quick as we can and getting it onto the car. You know, we have a short window of opportunity during the sessions to make changes happen and our, you know, our changes are measured in thousands of a second. So it's pretty important that we're all communicated and linked of what's happening. And since the information is changing so quickly, it's important for all levels of the team to have current information too. And so that's where data management and IT help considerably. That seems to be the biggest uh, area that I've seen. The information technology has just revolutionized racing.